Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Reading today, James chapter 4, verse 6, but he, God, giveth more grace. Stop right there. Our God demands a lot from us if we are his children. His standards are high. In fact, he says, be ye perfect, for I am perfect. And what else would you expect from a perfectly holy God? Of course, his standards are the highest. If we care enough about God to want to please him, and if we are humble enough to admit that we don't have what it takes, then he will help us if we ask for it. That's part of what it means when it says he gives grace. God wants a close relationship with us, and he will help us in any way to cultivate that relationship if we really want it. He will not force it, but he will help us if we want it. God can do an awful lot with a willing heart, but he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. God will bend over backwards to help us live for him so that we can enjoy his fellowship, if that's what we want. However, those who don't care about God, those who don't think they need God's help, those who do not want him and therefore have turned their backs on him, they also will get what they want, exactly what they want. As they have turned their back on God, so he will turn his back on them and thereby give them the desires of their heart. God does not reject people. People reject God. 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Notice, submit yourselves, therefore, to God. The Bible says, submit yourselves to God, which means... It is our choice. If we want to submit, then we can. If we don't want to submit, well, that's our business. But the choice is ours. It is always ours. Evangelicals are dead wrong to talk about compulsive behavior as if there's some sort of outside source forcing them to do something that they don't want to do when they commit sin. It's not true. It's not biblical. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. When we choose to submit to God, the devil has no power over us. When we are devoted to God, the devil has no leverage over us. He cannot win. Satan cannot make you do something if you do not choose to do it. That's how you get victory over Satan. You don't need a deliverance prayer. You don't need some charismatic laying hands on you and repeating some mumble-jumble, sounding spiritual, which is unspiritual. If you continue to reject God's tempt or Satan's temptations, you know what's going to happen? He'll find somebody else to pick on. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. He knows that his time is short, so he's not going to waste his time on someone like you. The devil is wicked, but he's not stupid. He doesn't do the same thing in the same way and expect different results. Like Einstein said, I think. That's the definition of, uh, of insanity. Doing the same thing in the same way, expecting different results. Satan's not that dumb. If we resist, he'll flee. He'll go find somebody else. To study all of the Bible, go to the Bible, verse by verse dot com. Study Genesis through Revelation, verse by verse, using my audio Bible messages. Choose, click, and listen from four complete series going through the entire Bible. To be a part of Scripture verse by verse, pray for me and God's Word. And click the donate button at the top of the front page at the Bible, verse by verse dot com. And prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. Until next time, Michael Moret for Scripture Verse by Verse. So long, everyone.